Hello guys, welcome back to Beyond the Realms. And as you can see, if you've watched any of my videos before, you see that Freddy's in a different spot here. Um, well, that is part of the reason for this video today. I have um, been redoing this room. Um, and what spurred it on was the making of this right here just yesterday. Check it out, guys. Bam! Entire wall rack that I made yesterday. So, you know, no more Blu ray and DVD uh, shelves all over the place. You know, I took one of them and um, made a book rack. Um, but, you know, if you've seen my videos before, you know, I had a spinny rack here, I had two racks here, I had a rack here, two small racks here. And it's just like, man, you know. I, I just needed space. I had so much stuff in that closet too, like piles of movies. This is almost my entire collection, um, aside from a small stack that's in the closet. And uh, this isn't Andrew's movies. Uh, Andrew probably has a couple hundred himself. So um, it is the vast majority of them. Uh, but yeah, I, I've been spending all day uh, yesterday after I got it made and then a, a big majority of today alphabetizing all of these and putting them into categories that I want them in um, which I will go over here in a minute but you know I've been wanting to do this for a long time and kind of a funny story here I went to bed really late Friday night because you know I work second shift and stuff well about 10 after 5 in the morning I popped awake and I was right in the middle of having a dream about making a show I was like, man, you know, in my dream, I, I had actually like planned this out in my dream of how I was going to do it. Now, I didn't go completely how I planned on doing it. Um, I followed James Higgins, uh, which is DVD collector 1974 here on YouTube. I, I followed his model on how to make this shelf. Um, but I was dreaming about it though. I was dreaming about measuring it, about putting it up, about having the level out, about getting the screws. And when I woke up, I was just like, damn, I'm going to make a DVD rack today. And I just got motivated, man. I was over at Lowe's at 7:30 in the morning and got everything. I came home and this actually took me under an hour to make guys. It is not difficult at all. And to show you quickly how this is, in case you've never seen James's video, See, there's actually no shelf. So it's it's two by fours um, for the structure and then one by twos that the, the, the actual movie sit on. So how it goes is you got a two by four there, two by four there, and a two by four there. The reason why it's off center is because I had to get it into the studs and that's where the stud was. So it's either gonna be over further this way or further that way. And um, you know, then I put L brackets in three uh, on each one top, middle, and bottom. And then it's just a matter of uh, putting the one by twos across. And I made the, the, the bottom shelf a little bit bigger to be able to uh, hold, um, you know, special editions, box sets, things like that. But all the other shelves, I just measured up eight inches, put a mark, put it on there, put the level on, made sure they're straight, and then just eight inches all the way up to the top. And it only took me right around 45 minutes to do the whole thing really quick. <laughs> the longest part by far was alphabetizing everything. Um, but yeah, we'll get to that here in just a minute. I'll go ahead and show you everything else that I've done to the room here and the changes I've made. Um, I put a few things over here on this door. Star Wars bags new. Uh, like I said, that shelves new. I moved the Kylo Ren figures around a little bit. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, that's all of them, minus one that's lurking over on the shelf there. Uh, Freddy is sitting right there for now. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put Freddy at yet. Um, and things, you know, are not 100% done in this room. I actually literally just got everything put away. I was like, man, I'm going to go ahead and do a video now. Uh, but the snake cages are still there. Still got uh, vaping stuff here. The poster that was over on this wall where the rack is now is over there. I'm um, still not sure what to do with the Evil Dead poster yet. Uh, all this is the same, but this wall here has transformed. Check out that new Kylo Ren poster, man. Look at that shit, man. 
fucking awesome. I love that shit. I did hang up the Shane Beasley, the killer and headless right there. I hung up the Mark Price, um, or Mark, Mark Patton, that is, um, thing. And then I, I changed out the poster and went with Henry this time. Um, I rearranged these. The Evil Dead one up there, that stayed. But these were actually over on this wall, so I put those there. And then got the Pantera little corner going on there. And then, of course, the USA Today, Back to the Future 2 paper was put out earlier this year. Some more little Kylo Ren stuff. So now, um, I'll show you how I lined all these up here. So basically, Blu-rays at the top, DVDs in the, the, the middle to the bottom, box set special editions at the very bottom. But to get more specific, oh, oh don't go out on me light, here we go. There, try to turn the light there. To get more specific on how I have these lined up, so basically up here you have A through Z and then numbered movies right there um, is how I did that. And Mila's trying to come in the room here. Uh, but, you know, I mean, if you look at it, I didn't, I, I did them, you know, A, B, C, and, and I didn't like when you get to those, you know, these are in... Specific in, in like you know, I didn't alphabetize them as far as each A being all right, each B as long as it's you know I know where the A's, the B, all and, and so on and so forth all the way down are, you know I, I'm that's how I'm gonna leave it. Um, put the little skull up there. So yeah, you know that's that's how those are A through Z and then at the end is numbered movies. Um, if you guys watch the uh, Periscope commentaries, you know what that's used for. So right after all those, you have Kylo Ren sitting on the uh, layman configuration. I figured that went good together. Nice little book in here for this is the 3D Blu-ray section. Those are all 3D Blu-rays. And then when you come over here, the next shelf down from here to here is all my Criterion DVD and Blu-rays. And I do have these in uh, line by what spine number they are. After that, I have Scream Factory, then Aero Video, then my small wrestling collection. And, yeah, I didn't want to split those up, so I put the DVDs and Blu-rays together. And you have the Bates Motel and the Dark Knight hiding. You know, he's hiding right there, you know, for if you're coming this way. You're like, oh, shit, there he is, you know. Uh, right here is my two favorite filmmakers section. You have Alfred Hitchcock. All from here to here is Hitchcock. And it's all of his movies except for like five, I believe. I think he made 54 movies and I've got 49, something like that total. I mean, a lot of these uh, sets, you know, there's there's a lot in this set. There's a lot in this set and then, of course, this one. But that is almost all of his movies there. And then right here is my uh, Fulci DVD collection and then Toe Tags movies. And then to start down with the DVDs, we start at A over here. And it's the same thing. It goes in alphabetical order. A all the way to F. F all the way over to M's. M's all the way over to T's. T's all the way over to numbered movies. And then after that, starting right here, we have concert DVDs. These are all concert DVDs up to the cleaner disc <laughs> and then we have documentaries which i don't have many documentaries actually and then we get into box sets collections special editions that you know kind of just need to go down in its own spot that is a new pickup today i got 399 not big on that movie but you know 399 is a dicaprio i didn't have um, I figured the Nightmare Glove kind of worked right there, kind of like that. Um, and then the last shelf right here. And I got a few hard boxes I got down there. The Inception briefcase on the bottom. And then that's it for those. And as you can tell, you know, these are DVDs and Blu-rays both. I didn't really specify or categorize those. You know, I just figured I, the collection's a collection, you know, as far as where this section goes. Um, but the next train of thought that I have going on is, um, you know, I want to, I want to get a little label maker and put, you know, like right here, 3D Blu-rays, you know, right here, Hitchcock, Fulci, 
toe tag and uh you know wrestling and you know just so i you know i just think it'd look cool you know and i might stain this or something i mean i probably should have did that before i put it up but man i was just so motivated to do it the other day uh yesterday actually i just uh wanted to get to it man so you know i don't know i might stain it or something but um yeah i definitely want to get some cat categories listed on there and things like that um but yeah, I don't know, you know, this might not be the best video, kind of jumped around a little bit too much on other things, and I just kind of uh, wound up right now, man. I've been working on this, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, it's just cool to have all my movies finally all in one spot, you know, and I can come in here and look and know I don't have to look over here, over here, over here, in the closet, you know, wherever. Now, if I want to find a movie, Bam, there it is, and I can find it in minutes. You know, not even minutes, seconds, actually, because it is all in place. So, yeah, there's still more work to do on the room. I have to hang that stuff up. Um, I got to figure out something new for this corner. This is where uh, the Fulci, uh, let me get this light turned around, Fulci Anima uh, French Grande poster was hanging. I took it down for now. Um, yeah, not real sure what to do with that corner yet, but I did want to have that poster up. I'm thinking about totally changing that corner, though, because, you know, when you open that door, you can't see that poster, and I like the poster. So I'm thinking about taking this stuff, putting it over here, and then putting the movie poster over there. But, you know, I don't know if I want it that close to sunlight, you know, because, you know, sunlight can fuck with things like that, um, fade it out and all that. Um, but, yeah, none of this stuff over here has really changed until you get to the bookshelf and then some of the stuff here that I rearranged on the wall and and uh, these are all the same but I did add my dad's old drawing there and put that's from the, the underground the Hollywood I went to in Pittsburgh last year that was over here so um, but yeah guys that's pretty much it that is the revamped Beyond the Realms room and how it looks right now as of April of 2016, um, you know, it's a constantly evolving room. Oh yeah, another thing I did put out here is uh, my Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's it's pretty faded now, it's kind of hard to see, but I did meet him and I got him to autograph that figure. That was actually uh, right after he won the belt for the first time I met him and got him to sign that, which was cool as hell. So, but yeah guys, that is the room. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you soon. Later.